Seven of May 2018. Okay, this hamster came in yesterday with a big redness here, a big rounded patch and hair loss, and uh, the redness was definitely very uh, bright red. But now, of course, with treatment, it's less red now. There's definitely a scar here. So the vet has done some ear irrigation and uh, it's not so uh, red now. Now, whether there's any anything inside or not. So the vet has put ear drops. The vet has put ear drops in and uh, and has checked inside saying that there isn't any uh, any more thing other than some pieces of some lumps inside here. Now this is a horizontal vertical ear canal up to here. The mic, the ear drop. So hold, hold this. So so after that, I'm going to open the ear, vertical ear canal because sometimes the, the thing has gone in the sand bath. Huh? So I'm going to anesthetize first. Okay, anesthetize for another few seconds, and just, then I will start to uh, just see, see the five percent. And the flow rate, 5% isoflow rate, and the flow rate about 3, 2.5 liters per minute. And we will check here. Now, when the hamster is not moving, not moving, we come up to 10 seconds. Huh? 10 seconds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, pick up. And then uh, my assistant. Put it under the pad there. Yeah. Okay, the pad my system will push it in quick. Push in again the vertical air canal to guide me to do the electro surgery to open up there. Yeah. I think it's waking up again. Huh? Is it waking up? Wait. Is it waking up? Okay, that, that. One hand hold this, huh? one hand hold uh. One hand go in and open up. Yeah. Ready? Now don't touch the table. So okay, let me just continue with the cutting. Huh? Okay, let me take first. Okay, finish. Put some gas first. Yeah. But, but the thing that the reason we can't uh, hundred percent anesthetize the hamster is that it is a uh, very very uh, risky. So. If it is a trial and error, as you can see, it moved a bit. And uh, we will do again the gas. And uh, actually, it's finished already the cutting. And uh, some viewers might complain that it was not fully and it's size. But uh, as you can see, it's very small, it's very hard to tell whether it's really down or not down. Although it, it is not moving already, actually. Yeah. But uh, it, it can be overdosed. So, okay, take out again. So, that's the reason we cannot uh, assess clearly. Okay, now, now put the drops. So, what I do is open up the ear canal so you can drain. Yeah, I'll give me this. Okay. Pull the ear first. My system pull the ear. And uh, basically, there's nothing to do with the cheek pouch, and the cheek pouch wouldn't be affected. You know? If you don't cut too deep, it won't be affected. Okay. So, in case there are any sand, it would be uh, easy to drain up. Okay, put, put the put the ear drops in. Okay. So, you can see it's open up there. Swap, swap there. And that's it. So even if any sand wouldn't wouldn't affect, the sand will come out the drain out. This is a fat, that's a bit of fat here. But some more ear drops. Let go the ear, don't don't hold so tightly either. You can see there. Okay, ear drops. Okay, good. Then swap again. And uh, now you see the hamster is sleeping very well. And the canal is open up. You can see the horizontal canal is there. It's very small. You can't really see, but uh, hold here. Just use forceps to hold. Hold a bit. 
Oh, okay, okay. Wake up already. Come. Put it back. Yeah, okay, that's it. Finish. Yeah.